Let me. S I need to. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. And we're back. Wait, who's in party chat? Is it Dave Well, whatever. Today here, ladies and gentlemen, we have Daniel and David versus Dave on for a wager for Madden NFL cards. Devon gets the first kill on Daniel. Daniel trying to get a plant. Where is uh this kid at? All right. We have David here, slowly pushing up. Not sure if he knows. <laughs> Looks like there's about to be some action here. And David gets the kill on stairs. Beautiful aim. Pre round stats David 1 0, Daniel 0 1, Dave on is 1 1. Now there is a little discrepancy between these two teams. And guys, make sure you subscribe to Cosmic J. Big ups on the YouTube channel. Send some gifts too. This is going to be a good live stream. And uh, expect some more live streams in the future, guys. We'll be here. Mm, this beautiful wager. As round two starts. As it commences, here we are. I am going to be following Davon for most of the match because he is the one man squad. Following two people is kind of hard, so here we are. Davon breaking a hatch. Now, there is a little bit of skill between these two. Pretty, not a pretty big skill difference, but there is some power on each team. <laughs> See here, Davon looks like he's gonna do the roof shot. Doesn't get it. <laughs> Daniel playing castle again, <laughs> like always. Nothing new. Now day one is that garage. As there is for some reason a reinforcement on the right barricade, but not the left for some odd reason. Let's see what Devon's next move here is. He has one more big blow above. He threw a smoke on. I'm presuming to find that to be an accident. Damon pushing up slowly. Looks like we're about to have some action here in a second. And down goes Daniel with a beautiful shot from Devon, and oh, David gets his get back with a nice follow-up shot. 
Nice shot right there. I wouldn't say that's champion level, maybe silver level. Beautiful shot though. Here, thank you for the sponsors. Everybody here tonight. Raid Shadow Legends. Play the game. If you use my promo code, you get free 10,000 coins or some. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like the video. Uh, I'm gonna go take a shit. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Uh, you guys, yeah. Go Attackers shit. have located a bomb. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Attackers activating diffuser. have eyes on the diffuser. Attackers need to protect it. Defenders have disabled the bomb diffuser. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds to go. 5 seconds remaining. Defender mission successful. Protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. And we're back. I think I missed a round. Did I miss a round? Maybe I did. I don't know. But I'm back. So maybe that's all that matters. Attackers have located a bomb. No. Here they. So. Two to one. David with two kills, one death. Daniel with zero kills and three deaths. Davon, four kills, two deaths. Seems I missed a few, but that is okay. We have Davon playing as the good old Thermite, as always. Yes. 
<clears throat> we have Devon here droning out on the site. Pretty weird site setup, as I might say, as they reinforced the hatch for no apparent reason. And Devon getting a little bit of damage on David. Good play right there. David is playing dog, so he is going to get that health back. But that is one stim less. Good play, Devon, with the undershot. Getting a little bit of damage in. Wasting his resources. Now, Bear T talking shit in the chat. You don't want to see me IRL. Devon blowing up the reinforcement. As he drones out. Let's see what's happening here. Mind you, I can only spectate one person because the one person is in party chat and I cannot give any information on the other two. But here we go. Another undershot play, and Daniel is killed. The big beast himself is dead. Now it's just a one-on-one -on -one between the two butt brothers. Revenging. Let's see this wager here. Intense. Here we are. We're gonna get some action. And they're fighting. And David is down. He gets the stim off and he's dead. Devon with another win that ties it up two to two. David is two and two. Daniel is zero and four. Devon is six and two. Let's check. Check your parlays right now. Check your parlays. Check your parlays. Now we have Devon feeling good after that round. How did you how do you feel after that round? Okay. Okay. Now I will be joining a different party chat, so I could commentate on both sides. I will see you on the other side. Attackers need to locate. Mikey, I am willing to run that. Very uh, four versus three method and now since i'm in a different party chat i can give you information on both sides not just lord devon now looks like we have a caller for one of our viewers let's see i i he called me first it hello <laughs> okay that's like Devon oh, under 18. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> under 18? <laughs> what is that? Like a 0 0.5x, bro? <laughs> yeah, but then David, but then David's like a 1.2, so I'm going to like basically double it. Alright. Let's see here. We have Devon in B-Site. Here we have Daniel. Question and gameplay right here. Playing Window. We'll see. We, we might get some action here. Devon is um doing something. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what that is. David is droning. He has information. And he hard pings him for some reason. Daniel playing window. He might get a shot here. 
Devon playing very passive. This attacking run is very passive too, but they still have two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. A lot of time to do something. Devon watching stairs, both on windows, and he glides in. Devon knows where he's at. He's breaking the barricade. Oh, we have some action here. Oh, and Daniel dies, but Devon is at one health. Good job by Daniel getting him low. Just couldn't finish off the kill. Now we have a one-on-one -on -one between the Bud Brothers again. Daniel not showing any sort of commitment to the team as he's 0-5. Now, all David has to do is tickle him, and he's dead. It's over. David jumping in. Devon has to play passive here. He would just be dumb to be aggressive. David droning again. Really cautious on his gameplay. I like that. Pause. Sorry. Devon has a good sight set up here. David has to make a noise in order to get into sight. But he's across the house. David could get into sight here and plant if he doesn't know where Devon is at. But it seems like he doesn't. And he flashes. Now Devon has. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe he didn't hear that. Now David is pushing on A bomb. He has a free plant on B. Devon has a sight, a vision of where he's at, of where he could be at. Or maybe I'm wrong. Again, this could be just passive gameplay from Devon. Very interesting. David just making a lot of ruckus. He has a free plant right here as he holds the fuser. Devon knows where he at. D Devon <laughs> knows where he's at. Oh, we about to get a little bit of action here. David doesn't see him. Oh, but David with the flick. Easy kill. That was an easy kill for Devon. He just couldn't finish it. And good aim on the head. Good shot from David. Looks like Mikey Terrace did hit his parlay. Good shot from David. Must say, right on his head. Could have been aimbot. Good shot. Now here are the statistics. Here again, Davon with seven kills, three deaths, twenty-six ping. Daniel with zero kills, five deaths, one assist, seventeen ping. David with three kills, two deaths, and nine ping. Now, David is playing a, an interesting Attackers player here, or not interesting player, interesting character here, as he's playing Ella. I've I've actually never seen David play Ella before, but this, uh, this will definitely be some interesting gameplay from here, as I think he only played her once. And we have Jesse Chavez on the phone. What? Call back on. I'm I'm live streaming right now. What? Bomb Are you by attackers. I'll send you the Bomb link. You should come watch it. What is it though? Just just. Attackers And here we are. The match has started. David and Daniel with three oh round wins. Davon. <laughs> Davon with two round wins. Three minutes on the clock. Round started. Let's see here. Hold on. I just have to. Do something Bro, else. I just have to um send the link. Um there you go, okay. I do have to get off the phone, I have to do my job. I'll see you later. And I'm back. We have Devon second floor, their master bedroom. Devon tried to get a kill, and he gets a kill on David from underneath. Good play. I don't know why they're not watching that, as they know Devon does that every round. Now it's just up to Daniel to clutch. Not very much a clutch. It's literally just a one-on-one. -on -one. But we'll see here what Daniel could do. He is on a cold streak right now, 0 for 5. But we'll see if he could get his powers enough to eliminate Davon. Davon droning again, making good use of his materials. Daniel is very scared, sitting on a bed, making sure he doesn't get killed from underground. Daniel fighting a drone. Davon ran out of drones. Now, 
It's just up to pure skill and IQ. As they start fighting, Devon spraying the window. Devon has 1 minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. We'll see what goes down. Daniel hard peeking it. Seeing if he could get a little headshot. But be careful. Devon is pre-firing. Daniel gets shots on. Devon couldn't land a shot. Devon is very low. Daniel could be here. Could get the shot down. We'll see here. Daniel is actually playing well right now. Good shot. Devon having to play a different position from where he is at. Destroying the reinforcement as Daniel is playing very cautious. But he might get sneaked up upon as he doesn't know where Devon's at anymore. We have Devon sneaking up. Maybe he's trying to get on the stairs. Daniel watching the same position. I don't think he's going to be there anymore, Daniel. Devon is actually going to the same position he almost got popped at for some reason. Smart play, reinforcing. He might get a kill on Daniel here. But I think Daniel knows that was a fake. Devon, 15 seconds left on the clock. Now it's 10. He has 10 seconds to make a move here. What is he going to do? Devon is going to be a peak here. And Daniel gets the kill. Let's see this here. Good aim by Daniel. Good clutch. One and five. If you took the under on Daniel for 0 0.5 kills, you just lost money. Now we have Devon playing as Cade with David as Sledge. Or no, Daniel as, as Ying. He's playing Ying. Interesting in Daniel and David playing as Lion. We'll see here. <clears throat> Now, the bans are very optimistic, banning basically all the mains of each other. And thank you for all the sponsors again. Um, make sure to go download Raid Shadow Legends and use my promo code. And Monster Legends, use my promo code for free coins and skins. Now, we have here... One to five. And in previous, you know, yeah, matches, Daniel isn't really the type to show out in performance and skill. But he does have good communication with his partners usually. So, but yeah, mostly, I mean, that's three. the thing, though, is when he has food in his mouth, it's hard to communicate. To he has part of that R6 skill to talk to his teammate. Attacker's objective but he can't. Use a bomb. He's always munching on something. And David... You know, big IQ, big brain, big forehead. You know, we all say it. We all say it all the time. Nothing new. Um, doesn't have much of the skill. He does have good aim occasionally. So here is Daniel pushing up on the barricade. David going on the other side. I like this setup that they have going on here. A little pinch right here. If, if Daniel manages to distract Davon... David could go through here, this open barricade, but let's see if they acknowledge that. Davon hiding in the closet because he's gay. Maybe he's not, though. All Daniel has to do is shoot him, and he's dead! Daniel with another kill! Round win! How did Davon not kill him? Oh my god, terrible aim, but he got there. Okay, Daniel is on the rise, and he's going again. It's looking bad here for Davon on this wager, as it's 5-2. to two. Daniel, 2-5 two and five with 1 assist. David, 3 kills, 3 deaths. Da Davon, 8 kills, and 5 deaths. Very interesting game here, as Daniel manages in the 3rd, 4th, the 5th round is when he really implemented his game and he really you know is really you know concentrated now so now they're playing garage i think this is the first first garage play in uh, the in the match 
in the match so far. So let's see here. Classic reinforcements. No rotate here, but Daniel is probably gonna make one. Yeah, I mean, if I were to place bets, I would think Daniel and David. I mean, they're a, they're both all right, decent players. If they play it right, they could, you know, shut Davon down. Because Davon's not all that. I mean, he has occasional, you know, good kills. You know, like the underground kills. But I really don't see where all the hype is. Where all the glaze is coming from, you know. We have Daniel here making head holes. Very smart. Um, not sure if those are ever going to be used the way he plays. But he makes head holes there. Um, let's see, where is Dave on at? We are going, oh, here he is. So it looks like Devon is going to take the garage entrance. Daniel is still making rotates. He has made three different, four different rotates, actually. Now this, this spot is always where Devon, or Daniel dies. Daniel always dies. Next to White Van. <laughs> Devon has sights on Daniel. He doesn't know where David's at, but he's still watching it cautiously. We'll see here. They're both playing passive. I see no reason for them to peek at all. Well, they really just need to watch and wait for him to get into the sight. Let's see here. Devon rotating back around. <laughs> Daniel just seems to be jerking off on the floor watching that rotate. Now, I'm not sure what the game plan is here for Devon as he's wasting a lot of time. Two minutes have passed. He has one minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. Not sure what's happening here. As this is very slow gameplay. Now Davon is... Uh, oh no, he has one drone left. So we'll see how he utilizes this. Um, David. Nope. None of them are checking cams. No intel. David or Daniel or fucking... They all have D names. Davon is taking the pool entrance. Pool table entrance. Looks like it's going to be another fake. Again, that is a good option. But when it's overused, they could see it coming. Now, he has both of them on their toes watching it. Devon could get two free kills as they're stacking on each other like two homos. As I said, Cinnamon Stick and Applejack. Devon. He has a free entrance right now. But... He get David gets a goo mine on him. Devon is pushing up and they're circling each other. Daniel still thinks he's on the rotate. Devon could get a free kill here and he's dead. One is dead. David smart re realizes that there is a limited amount of time, but he does not realize that Devon has a diffuser in his pocket and can diffuse here. David needs to do something. Bomb diffused. Devon places a smoke, but there is a castle on him, so he can't get through. David here. There is going to be some action here. If David... David does not know where he's at right now. David has about 15 seconds before he can no longer defuse. David needs to do something here. He needs to push up. And it looks like he's dead! Devon! With a shot! David, no situational awareness at all, and gets actually headshotted. But, Devon still has a long way to go, and it's 5-3. to three. Devon with 10 kills, 5 deaths. Daniel is 2-6, and six, and David is 3-4. and four. Now, this is a very, very slow game from these players, as they all have never touched silver, but that's okay, because we're here for the good times... We're here for rage, and we're here for useless arguments over pixels and their wagering. So Daniel playing Lion, David is playing Amaru for some odd reason. 
Um, Dave, 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 Dave on is playing Doc. We'll see how this goes here. So, this map is overplayed. We play this map a lot. And, uh, everybody knows the layout. You know, everybody knows where everything is. And I think that's the heart of it. You know, we Attackers all feel great on this map. So, Ten we'll go. see if we perform. If these fellas put on a show if we could see anything anything magical upon these two players here for three players so. so it seems that daniel is afk like always it seems david is waiting for him patiently nope david actually knows where the drone's at that's interesting Never knew that, that he knew where, where, uh, Cam was. And it seems Daniel is still AFK and David is waiting for him. So, I'm not sure what's going on here if he's eating or, uh, doing a... Yeah, I'm, I'm... I don't know what David's doing. I think he's just making out with him. I don't know what is going on right now. This is like... Something needs to happen here. And David has left him alone. Oh, shit. I wasn't even looking. Where'd David go? Right here. Yeah, this is the slowest that they've ever played, and, uh, it's getting kind of boring now. So, if a move could be made, if someone could do something, um, I mean, this is, like, fucking, I don't know what's going on here, like, can we, like, there's one minute and 30 seconds left on the clock, and a move has not been made. So. I'm not sure if David knows what Amaru does. Oh, maybe he does. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. And David goes down with Daniel AFK. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Oh, and he's back! We have a game here now. Um, and he's going through garage? Okay. What is he, what is Daniel doing? What is, what is he doing? <laughs> what? Fifteen seconds left. <laughs> he has fifteen seconds. And it, <laughs> it looks like he's gonna lose. Unless he gets a defuse off, he could get a defuse off. Five but seconds in to go. four seconds. I What the Operator fuck was that? I don't know what that match was. Um That was uh That was probably the most retarded plays that I've ever seen come up from here cuz that was pretty retarded but 5 to 4 don't know how David and Daniel are losing this this should be a pretty easy matchup but uh yeah attackers need to locate and, and Day -Day the cannot join can. the party check cuz he was blocked um
on second. All right. So I don't know what happened last round. Maybe it was miscommunication, or if Daniel had to use the bathroom mid-match. Don't know what's going on, but we have ourselves a game here. As it's coming up close to uh, the final end here. Couple more rounds to go, and it will be match point. Davon is still drowning. He's located the bomb site. On Joe's <laughs> David and Daniel <laughs> Crazy. Um Alright, we have Davon here going through it seems to be Office 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 Okay. David is watching his cams. Looks like Devon is going to use the same reinforcement he uses almost every single day, and he's going to rush through it like he does every single match. Now, if David gets off his fucking camera, he could have a kill on Devon here, and Devon repels from like two feet. I don't know why he didn't just jump off. Maybe he was scared. So now he's going lower. Daniel is just shooting at a whole lot of nothing for some reason david is still on cams let's see what david is watching actually wait can i can i not what the fuck is going on and we have a caller hello hey, Jason. yeah hey tell Devon to keep me muted but unblock me so i can join the party uh, I am not in his party right now. I am actually commentating on a different party chat. Uh, I will do so after the game uh, is done. Yeah, just let him know. Later. So, Damon with another fake thermite. I think they know by now what he's doing. And Daniel. <laughs> Daniel is uh, on the bed. Oh, and he's off. Devon is joining again. Devon has one minute to do something here. And David and Daniel are playing very passive. Devon needs to do something here. Looks like he's going to use his old reinforcement that he did use. His fake reinforcement. Or his, not reinforcement, thermite, sorry. David is very... Very concentrating on this peak. He hasn't moved at all. At all? At all. Come on here. Daniel in closet. We're going to get some action here in a second. But Daniel's watching cams. I don't think Daniel knows where he's at right now. 15 seconds left. And it looks like... And Devon gets the kill on David. Daniel is pushing up, but don't know why. Seven seconds on the clock. Devon needs to do something. He knows he's in closet. Devon, he's a kill him. Daniel gets the kill. He's so trash. Daniel with a kill. Game is six to four. It looks like David and Daniel are going to win this wager here today. This fine evening. And David and Daniel have the same exact stats. And Devon left the game. He left the game. I don't know if that was out of pure anger. What? Hold on. Whoa, whoa. So here we are. David and Daniel come on top with the victory. David, post game interview. How do you feel about getting this tremendous W? Daniel, 
How do you feel? Are you gonna get a victory I'm snack? I'm selling this team, bro. I'm selling this team and I'm giving myself the coins, bro. I don't care, bro. You wager, bro. You pay up, bro. I don't care. We live in the same house, bro. Daniel. Are you, is he getting a victory go, snack? Go. Daniel, are you getting a victory <laughs> snack right now? How do you feel about that? This is an amazing, tremendous W here. You were... Oh, he was? Fucking failure. Who is Beluga Whale? <coughs> Mikey. Mikey. Oh, my God. Let's go, Dishonest, man. Amazing Easy game. Man. I'm out of man. I'm, I don't care, bro. Next time you join this party, bro, I'm banning him, bro. I, I'm, I don't care, bro. I'm... Hey, Dave Party is over, bro. Amazing Dave gameplay. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go, Dave Party. Very, go. very, very, very. Hey, on guard. On guard, I'm out of the dribbling the bounty account. Tater, bro. On guard, I'm going on the dribbling bounty account right now, bro. No, this oh, might bro. be a top three party 